End of uh, regular meeting tonight. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to call this regular meeting to order. Please join me in the flag salute. Right hand over your heart, veterans may salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Seven oh three. Roll call, please. I already did all that. We're down to public comment, not on the agenda. Um, we have the, uh, do we have any regular? Oh, oh I'm yes. Sorry. Rob, do you want to do that? Yes. You want to silence it? Yeah. For those of, the, of you that don't know, a former board member, Connie Jarvis, passed away on June 17, 2019. There'll be a service tomorrow at the Nippi Funeral Home in Paso Robles at 1130. And then at the cemetery procession after that. Um, so we would just like to take a moment and have a, a moment of silence uh, for Mr. Jarvis and his memory and uh, dedicated to this district. Thank you guys for recognizing uh, Mr. Jarvis and his uh, contributions to us. We need to have comment for the on the agenda. I just, Mr. Jarvis had been on the board since uh, before the district was formed as part of the San Diego Sanitary District, and he served with my mother through the 90s. So he's been actively involved in the community for probably as long as I've been alive, and uh, he'll be uh, greatly missed for his um, unique contributions to our community. Okay. Uh, so as I said, uh, closed session has been continued. So we'll take public comment on any items not on the agenda. Yes.
rather than them just bulldozing. Rather than just bulldozing glass doors. and leave us without our original firehouse and and the antique apparatus that it houses. Right. right. We can do that. Yeah, I agree. Putting glass doors. Should we contact the state about declaring the historical site? I don't know how it was built. I have a comment. Um, I've overheard that the library was to be removed as well, and the library was the old courthouse, to the best of my knowledge, so that has an historical significance as well as the jail. Yeah, yeah. and the jail. They were going to remove the jail and the library? No. Um, no? Not the jail. But the library? Just the library. And the community center. And also Not the jail. Not the jail. Community so center. they want to remove what the represented the bad people and take away what represented the good people. Well, they, want to, they want to remove the courthouse. And the community sites. Um, and what's going to go there? Uh, a gazebo. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, a, a, park? A, a skate park where the fire station is. And well, that's a, good idea. a larger community building with two stories, including the library. And better resources for parks. The oh, you put a like skate that. park in the side of a hill. Yeah, it's really. going to be where the fire station is. That's it's cut out. Really small. It's really small. Yeah. Start so it's not it's not it's it's big, it's big enough. <laughs> Come off the roof of the library on the rail or something. Library's gone. Well, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Uh, Mr. Yeah. President and, and staff, uh, from what I also understand, the deadline that, that Ms. Kavanaugh is following to get the grant in is by August 5th, so if the district so wishes to take a, an agendized action on it, would need to do so before that timeline. August 5th? The August is what was the deadline for that grant to get it in. Um, I also do know, though, from that Ms. Kavanaugh is not, in my personal opinion, all the proper channels. Um, she only contacted Lions Club once and then said that she had that she had been having, it sounded like regular conversations with the Lions Club. The Lions Club, Native Sons, AA, Advisory, and Forest all used the community center and they would all be um, adversely impacted from it being um, uh, demolished and escaped. So, you want to take that too? Yeah, that's going to go go away too. And where would where we go home? Um, At the no. school. I think they like us. Well, I'm unfortunately, place it with what? A newer building. Um, but unfortunately, last time they had a remodel, it took a year and a half. Well, I'm not opposed to the skate park, but I am opposed to the location. So I don't know what everybody else. Or um, that seems about. like a kind of yeah. Yeah. It's a fairly busy corner. I'm, I'm not, not opposed to the skate down the hill, but I'm opposed to removing historical buildings. Yeah, that too. I agree. You guys check out how that skate park went in uh, Pat Robles? Yeah, every town has one now except us. Yeah. Well, no, but what, what I'm trying to say, John, down there, you know, there's supposed to be volunteers to watch right. it. Now there ain't nothing but graffiti and it's a free stuff flow. all over. Drugs being sold there. So, I, my opinion, I'd be personally against the skate park. See, and my opinion is that now you know where they are, and you can go watch them. We can well, have nice cameras installed. Yeah. So now you're, not, now you're not now you're not digging around to find them. They're, they're right there. It's not the best and it's how you time. deal with that. <laughs> well, it's the authority's cool. problem for yeah. not for not being down there with volunteers and doing what was proposed. Well, like when they built that one in Paso Robles, you know there was all these volunteers. Oh, we're going to be there, and but the volunteers. I understand. Disappear. I understand. So now, same token, you can't say that all skateboarders are. No, I'm not saying criminal. anything about skateboarders, so but I'm just skate saying it's a. Uh, it's, it's a hangout. Yeah, yeah, it's a hangout. Um, I I don't know if this would follow a uh, proper procedure, but would it be um, a consensus to have the item brought back for the preservation of the old fire station or any of that other discussion? I don't know what the procedure is. In our this contact the lady. I think we can give staff direction on either contacting and uh, drafting a letter, perhaps, if we need to. I don't know about and, and any other further actions that may be necessary. Because last time you drafted a letter to Ms. Kavanaugh, it, it, it didn't go very far. All right, okay, so why don't we direct staff, listen, listen up guys, why don't we direct staff to contact the county, draft a letter, and agendize the subject for the July meeting in case some action has to be taken. Sounds good. Right, consensus? Yes. 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 All in favor? Yes. 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 Any opposed? And you also reach out to the state regarding declaring the historical buildings. July. 
I would have liked to have a good idea. idea. No. Sweet. <clears throat> And what might have someone help me out what with that? What about our supervisor? Where is he? He's in Templeton. <laughs> we can we can confer, we can talk to him about it too. Find out what their position is on. Yeah, I'd like to talk to him about the sprinklers too. Right. Let's have him up. Cookies and he milk. has a kind of community center, not community center, but the parasol. I remember. No, we didn't. Right. Not he, anymore? He, he, I understand what John's he, asking for. He wants him yeah. to come to here and represent yeah. him. And go look at the fire station with us and go look at the landscaping with us and talk about uh, common sense and that sort of thing. Well, we touch. How much are we paying him? What? Who? Our supervisor, whoever he is. Public record, record, you look it up. The yeah. public record is supervisor usually gets paid about 90 to 100000 a year. Why are they even sitting here? I haven't seen them in a long time. Okay, we're going to move on. Thank you for your public comment. We appreciate you doing that to us. You got my script? I'm sorry? We have a public hearing. You got my script? I have. Number one for you. Where is it? Keep changing the number I one. Just want to, I just want to make sure there was opportunity for other public comment, but that wasn't the end of it. Was anybody else wanting? Um, I, didn't, I only saw one hand go up when I asked her about Okay, comment. perfect. Just want to make sure. Yes, he does. It's tabbed in blue. Let's do that out. Let's say script. Oh, you threw that out? You threw it, but not tabbed in blue. Sorry. Tomorrow. Number one, then. Thank you. Okay, thank you. On our, the board, I, 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 I say it's what I want to talk about. Oh, you have a public comment? Yeah. Okay. Well, why did you know? I have to have you. I know. I, I know. <laughs> but like I said, when that supervisor that's making $100,000 a year ain't here, and it goes to show with a lot of other people that we, the people of San Miguel, are paying for. So that's my okay. comment. Thank you. I agree. Okay, so we're going to do a special presentation, public hearing considering approving resolution 2019-25, confirming the 2019 weed abatement cost report and authorization collection of the charges on the county tax rolls. This is the time and place for public hearing relating to the district's proposed approval of resolution number 2019-25 confirming the 2019 weed abatement cost report and authorizing collection of the charges on the county tax rolls. If you wish to make a public comment, please enter your name on the sign-up sheet at the podium. Staff will provide a general presentation regarding the con confirmation of the 2019 weed abatement cost report to be collected on a county tax roll. Staff, please read your report. This year, we went out and assessed the district with the rains, seasonal rains. We had a heavy load of vegetation this year, required a little extra work, but we ended up only having to abate 16 lots. Uh, there was a lot of compliance. Uh, this year we put up banners. Um, we were out before, so uh, there was more compliance. One of our issues was uh, Railroad, county, and Caltrans are on their own own time frames for their weed abatement, and we don't get reimbursed for weed abating their areas. Um, but we had 16 lots that were abated, and the cost came to 8,950, and that was through contract services, and that's in line with our previous years. Um, under discussion, the San Miguel Community Service District Fire Department conducted a weed abatement program in accordance with the authority and proce procedures and health and safety code 14875 as permitted by government code 61100. Staff is recommending that the cost incurred by the district in to weed abate properties where the property owner has failed to do so, be placed up on the tax roll for collection. 
when the district performs weed abatement work, Health and Safety Code 14905 provides that the, an account of the cost is to be kept in and an itemized report prepared for the board showing the cost of removal of the weeds for each of the parcels. The cost report is then required to be posted on or near the door of the community uh, of the board chambers for at least three days uh, with a notice of the time when the cost report will be submitted to the board for confirmation. Staff has compiled with these requirements, has complied with these requirements and the 19 or the 2019 weed abatement cost report is now being submitted to the board for confirmation. This was put in the newspaper also. And how much was it? 8,000, 8, Yeah, uh, there were 16 lots done this year by contract services and the total cost came to $8,950. And that also has a $50 admin assessment fee, which is applied to uh, going out, assessing the lots, and documenting uh, all the information on them. What about billing? Did we do any billing? billing? We, the, to the customer or uh -huh. to the person we abated? No, they had they had a notifications to do the weed abatement by June 7th, right. and then they were advised that if it wasn't done by uh, that date, that contract services by the district right. would come out, um, do the abatement, and it would go on the, to their tax roll. Automatically, we yes. don't give them the opportunity to pay pay cash. No, no. Oh, we should. Yeah. It's government code issues. That's how it's supposed to go down. Well, I, I'll yeah. go to public. This is not public comment. Yeah, but I got some. I got. Yeah, some, I, I need I, it to be. I, we have to do this in a circle. Okay. We're getting there. The weed abatement. Is that the end of the staff report? Yes. No. Yes. It is time to take testimony from the public. We request that each person who speaks give their name and an address. Uh, is there any public comment or testimony? Now, yeah. Now would be your time to step up to the podium. Okay, sign up there. Provide your name and address. Okay. One day, 1401 Prado Place. I'm going to go to weed abatement because I got a bone to pick with this. With okay. But gently. Well, okay, I'll, I'll go gently. 